All right, welcome everyone back to Eonin's Edge. Today I'm going to review the Topps Scandi Trekker fixed blade knife. Jump right in with some specs on this. We've got a 1095 steel, partially acid washed blade. The rest of it is a brushed satin finish on the lower half of the grind. Drop point flat ground blade, three and a half inches of usable fine edge, a scale length of four and a half inches, a tip to tail length of seven and five eighths, a weight of 3.75 ounces, and the spine thickness thickness is 126 thousandths. All right, so let's jump right in with some things that I like about this knife. It's a tops knife, first of all. So the warranty and the quality on it is great. You break a tops knife for any reason, you send it back, they give you a new one. Whether you chip the blade, break the tip, whatever it may be. The size on this knife is absolutely perfect for EDC carry. Here's my large glove size hands with all four fingers on there in the hammer position. Still a little bit sticking out there on the back. That is great if you tend to have bigger hands. Again, 126 thousandths on the spine, so decent width here. Some nice meaningful jimping right here where your thumb tends to want to rest if you're holding the knife in a saber position like this. If you decide to use a modified Filipino and move up a little further on the blade like that, still enough width here that it feels comfortable and you feel confident. So solid ergos, nothing crazy going on here. They did put all this little scalloping on the lower side of the blade. The back side has enough width and spine thickness to feel pretty comfortable in your hands. If you have really big meaty paws, you might find that this knife disappears in your hand a little bit. But for me, with large glove size hands, this feels really good. So good scale width, good spine width on the back. This scalloping is all done really nice. It's all really, it just rolls along here. There's no, there's no sharp, you know, they didn't stop this and make any sharp edges. So your hand feels comfortable anywhere along this blade that you put it. Even if you were to move all the way to the back and you wanted to be a little bit more to the rear, it still feels pretty good. So again, good size, solid ergos. Meaningful jimping back here on the back of the spine. There you go, you can see it pretty easily. That's a typical type of tops jimping. They tend to use a wider, more open type of jimping. I think they do that because a lot of times their knives are meant to be really, truly used out in the field. Your hands are a little whatever. You, you're not gonna really slip off of this. It's aggressive enough, but not so aggressive that it's gonna tear up your fingers or anything like that. But you're not, you're not gonna miss that. Even if you've got a little bit of water, sand, grit on the knife, you're using it you know, at a lake or whatever when you're out fishing or camping, you're still gonna be able to find a good purchase on the top of the blade. All right, and so, the 1095 drop point has held up really well. I've had this knife now for several months. I've got an opportunity to carry it a few times outside on the trail with me. I've used it around the house. I've used it for some, some cutting tasks. I've done the usual things, cutting up boxes with it, um, breaking some zip ties, cutting through some zip ties, and whittling on some two by fours just to see what happens here in this knife has a good heat treat. It seems to hold a good working edge. I've stropped it a handful of times and put it right back in good working condition. One of the times I did do a lot of cutting on it on, on the two by fours and some other stuff, I did need to just run it very quickly over a ceramic rod on a sharpener and it just put it right back to sharp enough to shave the hair off your arms. It is 1095. It's not, it's not a stainless type of steel, so you will need to throw a little bit of oil on this every once in a while for long-term preservative. If you're not worried about it being food grade, I like CLP. Otherwise, I tend to just put a few drops of REM oil on each side of the blade and rub it down and then stick it back in the sheath and it's pretty much good to go. This is definitely a solid little fixie and it feels great in your hands. The, the ergos on the knife really make it a good, worthwhile, fixed blade and it does a lot of great cutting. Are there any issues or dislikes I have with the knife? 
with the knife, zero. And again, this is the full size Scandi Trekker. They do make a, a Scandi Trekker in a mini that's more of a necker knife. It's, a, it's sized down to about yay big. So you're only gonna probably get three fingers on the back of that one and it's got a smaller blade. This is a, a normal size knife for most people. I reviewed a couple of other Topps knives, including the Bull Trout, which I love and plan to add to my collection. But this knife is definitely a good EDC knife. It will definitely EDC well. I don't have any issues with the knife itself. The Makarta scales are nice. The fit and finish and build quality on the knife is excellent. And the ergos, obviously, as I mentioned before, are quite good. Where my issues lie is with, and this is not just tops, this is a lot of fixed blade makers, the sheath. So they're giving you a quality made full leather sheath full grain. It's a really nicely put together sheath. It's got double stitching, heavy duty stitching on everything. The knife fits well into this sheath and goes right in there deeply. So that's all great. But the problem is if I want to EDC this knife, I only have the drop position like this. There's no scout carry options with this, with this leather sheath that they give you, even though it's good quality, it's just not something that you can hide if you're heavy on your belt. And that might be fine if you only plan on taking the knife out on camping trips or fishing or hiking or things like that. But if you want to EDC this knife, you're left with having to take this whole thing and stick it inside your pocket. And it's just not very intuitive for most people to EDC. So I would love if Topps offered a Kydex option, a, a good, well-designed Kydex option with their knives instead of getting it with a leather drop holster because I can't scout carry this and I can't easily attach this with a stitched loop on it to my gear. I can put, my, put it through my belt and that's the way I've carried it. I've tried carrying it in my pocket a couple times. It annoys me. I just don't like the sheath at all. And that does seem to be a weak point with a lot of EDC knives that I've looked at. Fortunately, Armatist Carry offers really nice Kydex holsters with removable straps that can be carried in any position for most popular knives, including the Scandi Trekker. I will leave a link in the, uh, the, the description to Armatist so that you can go look that up if you should decide to pick up this knife and want a nicer sheath like I do. I will be purchasing one of the Armatist sheets for this knife because the only problem I really have with this whole knife setup is that I'm not a fan of drop carry in a big bulky leather sheath. For some people, that might be fine, and if that's you, thumbs up to you. But beyond that, I don't really have any problems with the knife. Let's do a quick size comparison. Let me show you the knife that's probably the most popular small EDC knife that most people are carrying, and that is the SE Azula 2. So here's the Azula 2 lined up next to it. You can see that there's quite a bit more blade length here between the Trekker and the Azula, but if we're actually looking at handle length, somewhere in that vicinity, you get more back here too. So I love the Azula. I carry this quite often. This is a really good small fixed blade that's easy to conceal and feels great in your hands. But if you're looking for something with a little bit more size and a little bit more blade to it, the Scandi Trekker, this might be, this might be your cup of tea. So let's summarize. At around $100 for this Scandi Trekker, I actually found it for $85 and purchased it at a bargain. But it's normally right around 100 bucks on most websites. This is an excellent EDC sized carry knife. It's not big, but it's not small. It's a great fixed blade with Topps lifetime warranty, and it would be an excellent addition to almost anybody's EDC lineup or carry rotation. So there you go, folks. That is the Topps Scandi Trekker in 1095 steel with green micarta scales. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Leave a comment down there on the bottom, hit the like button. Let me know what you think of the knife. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay sharp.